the activity R of a sample of an unknown radionuclide is measured at hourly intervals. The results in mega BQ are 80.5, 36.2, 16.3, and 3.3. We have to find the half life of this nucleide. We have to first show that ln r by r naught is equals to minus lambda t, and then we have to plot the graph for r by i naught vs t and then find lambda from the resulting curve and then to calculate the half life here we know that 1 bq is equals to 1 dk's per second we will make table for time activity and natural logarithm of the activity. The time we will take 0, 60, 120, 180 and 240 seconds. We have the values of activity 80.5 for 0 seconds into 10 to the power 6, 36.2 into 10 to the power 6, 16.3 into 10 to the power 6, 7.3 into 10 to the power 6 and 3.3 into 10 to the power 6 and ln of these values are 18.20376 17.40456 then 16.60667 15.80338 and then ln of 3.3 is 15.00943. To first show that the radioactive decay is given by r naught e to the power minus lambda t, we will take natural logarithm both sides. So this will be ln r equals to ln r naught e to the power minus lambda t then ln r is equals to ln r naught plus ln of e to the power minus lambda t this will become ln r equals to ln r naught minus lambda t and then ln of r minus ln of r naught this will be equals to minus lambda t then this will become ln of r by r naught is minus lambda t this is proved and now comes the plot the plot will be in the way ln of r and time t here this will be 50, 100, 150, 200, 250 and the plot on the y-axis will be five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. The largest value of ln r falls around 18. So 18 will be here and up to the time 240 seconds. So 240 lies here. The graph will be a straight line joining these two points. And now Obtaining the lambda from the plot of R, ln r vst, it is difficult because r decreases exponentially. 
we should be able to determine lambda by plotting the measurements of r therefore the linear form of this equation here ln r is the function as, as a function of t if we plot ln r vs t we will get a straight line like this the slope of this straight line is equals to 17.40456 minus 18.20376 divided by 60 minus 0 then this will be equals to minus of 0 0.01332 per minute this can also be written as 0 0.01332 per minute now the half life calculated using lambda t half is equals to ln2 by lambda then ln2 by 0 0.01332 and this will be equals to 52.038 minutes.